guys welcome back welcome back to my youtube channel so um today we are going to be looking at gamma functions of fractions or let's say yeah gamma functions of fractions so um yeah so good to be like gamma functions of fractions so now in our last video in our previous video um i proved that um the gamma of 1 over 2 is equal to the square root of pi now if you have not actually watched the last video i really advise you to go and watch or take a look at the last video i, I just really i would advise you to watch the last video so um which is on the link up here below which on the link up here below oh yeah it's on the link up there below so um so today we're going to be looking at the gamma functions of fractions so now how can we solve gamma functions when so for example when you are given find the gamma function of um, 3 over 2 7 over 2 and so on and so forth like that so now the fractions you'll be given in gamma functions are going to be um, having the denominator of 2 any other fraction you are given will be actually be advised to use a table of values of where they evaluate some for gamma functions of some of some you can actually get the answer for so any gamma function they give you will have a denominator of 2 so now this is not actually um going to just, i'm not gonna actually be proving any formula of some sort i'm just gonna be solving an example so for example let's 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 take example one example one so for example we are given find the gamma function of three over two now this is a fraction right now if, if we watched on our last video we for example um yeah on our list we are treated how to calculate the gamma function of um, some standard values like for example seven so to find the gamma function of seven we all know that you have to express seven as um a, a value adding one right so if i express seven as a value adding one this is six plus one right so this they can give me my gamma function of, so the answer is six factorial or six gamma function of six very simple as easy as that so um this is these are my answers or oh, okay I'll, I'll prefer this this one this one give goes straight to the answer because, because we can get the value of six factorial so now let's go back to our question our question says find the gamma function of three over two now you can you can now we're going to be applying the same principle that we did here for this so now we're going to be expressing three over two as the value that is adding one right so now for example for, for me to express three over two as the value that is adding one what will i get so the only value that can add to one that will give me three over two is one over two. So a gamma function of three over two, right, will be equal to gamma function of one plus of one over two plus one, right? So applying the same principle, remember we said gamma function of n plus one is equal to n factorial that's the that's the same principle we use now on our last video i actually proved this formula so if you have not watched this so yeah i actually yeah some sort of proved the formula so if you have not watched the last video i advise you to go and watch it so i advise you to watch start from the first video i start started working on on gamma function and up to this point you will really understand what gamma function is all about so this is um, gamma function of n over n plus one equals to n factorial, right? So I'm going to be is this same principle we apply to get this. So we're going to be applying this same principle for this. So this gives me equal to so gamma function of one over two plus one, which is equal to which is that I like. Will be, will, uh, so now since I cannot express this now, if you look at this, I cannot actually express one over two in terms of factorial. So I'll switch on to the next solution i derived on the next video which is n gamma of n so since i cannot express one over two as factorial now this this for this here only works for definite values like this like seven six and so on and so forth as i like, can just call them um, integers yeah they only work for integers but when we are using um fractions this does not work so we can explain i cannot express one over two in terms of factorial so I'm going to be using this formula, this one, this other, this other solution. So this gives me one over two gamma of one over two. Remember, on our last video, we established the fact that gamma of one over two is root pi, right? So just easy. So gamma of three over two, right? 
is equal to 1 over 2 dot square root of pi, which is square root of pi over 2. And that is that for how to solve gamma function of fractions. So let's take one more example so you can easily understand how I'm actually doing this stuff. So um, let's take um, example 2. So, for example, we are asked to find the gamma function of 7 over 2. Sorry, yeah, let's use 5 over 2. Find the gamma function of 5 over 2, which is very, 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 very easy. So, I'm going to remind you of our formula, which says gamma function, is, in this fraction, our formula is gamma function of n plus 1 is equal to um, n gamma of n. Right. So, um, let's express 5 over 2. That's what we can add to plus 1 to get this. What, what do I mean? So, subtracting 1 from 5 over 2, I'm going to have what? So, subtracting um, 1 from 5 over 2. Uh, sorry, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be um, 5 over 2 minus 1. Because 5 over 2 is greater than 1. So, it's going, if I subtract, like, it's going to give me a negative value. So, it's going to be 5 over 2 minus 1. So, this is that subtracting 1 from 5 over 2. So, 2 into 1, that's 5. And this is um, 2. So, this is 3 over 2. So 3 over 2 plus 1 will give me 5 over 2. So I'm just trying to get the value that I can add to 1 that will give me 5 over 2, which is so gamma of 5 over 2 is equal to gamma of 3 over 2 plus 1. Right. So that's easy. So we've expressed it in this form, right? Now let's go straight to our solution. So the solution here gives me 3 over 2 gamma of 3 over 2. Now you can just you can just beat yourself and say this is this is the solution for 5 over 2, but we can further we can express this furtherly. Now only when you stop when you are solving for gamma function is when you arrive at a constant. Let's let's see if when you arrive at a value, you can't actually find a gamma function of but is equal to a constant. For example, what I'm trying to say is that we stopped at we had gamma function of one over two, and I knew that this is where we are going to stop. Why? Because I can't if I decide to I can't furtherly express this as, for example, I'm like redo it as the way I'm, I'm doing other ones that express one over two as plus one. No, so but one of gamma of one over two is a constant. So when you arrive at gamma of one over two, you know that is your stopping point. So but if you look at this one here, our gamma function here is at three over two. You know we can't actually stop here. So we I take this. And evaluate it again so gamma of 3 over 2 right gamma of 3 over 2 express it in terms of 1 over 2 that's gamma of 1 over 2 plus 1 right applying the same solution here we'll be having 1 over 2 gamma of 1 over 2 so you know that this is my stopping point let me stop there when you, the moment you arrive at 1 over 2 you stop so remember we said this you took this out and we got this right so substituting it this back we have Gamma of 5 over 2 equals 3 over 2, open bracket, 1 over 2, gamma of 1 over 2. Right? So this gives me 3 over 2 dot 1 over 2 dot gamma of 1 over 2. And we know that gamma of 1 over 2 is the square root of pi, right? So this gives me 3 over 2 dot 1 over 2 dot square root of pi. So 3 divided by, so we're having 3 over 2 times 1 over 2. So this gives me 3 over 4 square root of pi. So that is all for the gamma functions of fractions. So thank you guys for watching and please and please subscribe. Peace.